something that's really cool. I found this program called Command Post. And what it does is it acts like a plug-in for your Final Cut Pro. One of the cool features that it does, which it does a lot of cool features, it works with the loop deck system, but it also lets you uh, move markers around and delete markers on the fly, which is we've never had that option before. So I'm going to go into Final Cut, and you're going to see how this is going to work. So typically, you know, you've got to go through and delete each one of the markers individually every time you do it. This way, you can actually drag them over, and, well, that one will explode, but... Let me put another one. If you drag them slowly, they'll stay. So anyway, you can move them around as you can see what I just did. So let's get to the program. Uh, you're going to go to www.commandpost.io. When you get there, uh, a couple of things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to read this because it's going to have you uh, basically install this onto your computer. So here's some of the things that it does. Um, some of the features which are up here final time scrolling timeline save and restore browser layouts batch export from timeline highlight browser and uh, playhead paste board buffer anyway i'm going to go through it and literally just kind of install it for you and then you guys can go through and figure it out yourselves but um if you go down to the bottom down here right here look where it says download you're going to download it and i've already downloaded it and installed it so i'm going to go ahead and do it again for you so we're going to go through, we're going to install, you're going to say yes, you're going to click on this little booger, you're going to get a box that pops up that's going to freak you out, it's going to say something about installing into your system, you're going to have to do it if you want to use this program. Let's wait till it loads here. Okay, this is where you click open and you're going to click move to application folder it's going to pop up another box okay now you're going to end up with still installing you may actually have to go into this area here under the privacy and security and you may and you're going to have to this will add it mine's already added but it'll ask you if you you want it to allow to control the computer you're going to have to say yes the program's going to be running up here so here is the command post you're going to go up to preferences when this thing finally loads this is going to give you uh, the ability to check for updates you can do that right now i've turned mine on you can launch it at startup um, but what you really want is over here. Unless you're using the loop deck, that's great. Uh, touch bar, shortcuts, this will let you customize all your shortcuts. But here's really where the meat and potatoes are. Um, you can show the timeline in the viewer, which is really cool. So you can see an entire full timeline. Uh, if I go up to the top up here, you're going to see how it, it, it is down here. So if I play full screen, you can see at the bottom down here, I've got the entire timeline down at the bottom rolling, which is kind of a cool feature. Um, and then, of course, you've got the marker area. Um, it does. It seems like it slows things down a little. I, you may have to try it. This is the 1.0.0 beta 77 version. But um, it, it's really pretty customizable. Uh, let me turn this off. There we go. Let me get back into the program. Like I said, sometimes it feels like it's a little slow. Okay, this is where you're going to have this thing running in the background. And I'm just going to turn the debug off. Uh, so go back to preferences. Uh, here you can do where you're going to click on movable markers. And this is where uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you click on movable markers. It's going to take you to a page. You're going to cut and copy this code right here. You're going to go to Terminal. And you're going to paste this code into your terminal. I've already done it, so that's all you have to do. That will create that will create the movable markers. If you want to turn on the Timeline and Viewer, you can do that right here by just clicking Show Timeline and Viewer, Enable Rendering During Playback. Uh, you've got Shortcuts. You've got all sorts of really great things, like scripting. Uh, I haven't got into this far yet. Shortcuts right here, you can go through and create like single task shortcuts uh, through this area right here. I have not explored that yet, so uh, you'll have to wait for another video. 
but overall it's a really cool program um anyway that's it check it out if you like it subscribe if you got any hints on how this thing works uh to educate me a little bit better let me know um i'm going to link to the guy uh arthur who is the one that turned me on to this thing on youtube so i'll link his channel he's really pretty great at this stuff and uh, he's got some more uh insight on how it works more fluidly so anyway you guys have a great week thanks for watching bye